I'm out with my backpack again tonight to catch the northern lights. <laughs> that is the plan anyway. I hope it works out. And if not, we'll just capture some time lapse of the stars and the moon and we'll enjoy ourselves anyway. Hi everyone, this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams and we're out on an overnight trip again with my backpack and as you can see I brought the big one this time because I have a lot more camera gear, I have a couple of lenses, I even brought my drone. Um, yeah, I'm just expecting to capture some really cool footage this evening and tonight and if not we'll just hang out and we'll enjoy the view of the mountains and the quiet up here in this area
super dusty here. Everything is so dry and uh, there's going to be a fire ban starting on Saturday. But I'm already not going to make a fire because it's so dry and there's so much wood here and dry grass and yeah I just don't have the water to put the fire out afterwards because there is no water source here so I had to carry everything. So I'm not wasting my drink water on the fire. And besides I'm hoping to have a really dark night and hopefully some northern lights if we're lucky so we'll see that would be super exciting i said it already in my last trip i believe a few weeks ago i saw the northern lights a few years back when i was with friends in quebec and uh, we didn't even know they were going to be out and uh, they were just so amazing. I didn't have a good camera back then, I just had my old phone, my iPhone uh, 10. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there was no chance of capturing it back then. But now I have a good Nikon and I have a really good lens that I brought especially for it. So we'll see. Trying to avoid the grass because I don't want to catch it on fire. <laughs> eating homestyle chicken pot pie today. But I don't know if I'm going to eat it without a spoon. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I have some good news. I did find a spoon. I didn't have any um, breakfast at home anymore, any oats or anything else. And so I went to the store real quick and I remembered that I forgot my spoon in my gear. So I grabbed one from the counter. <laughs> it's probably the first time because I always use my list. But things happen. pieces of chicken in here and peas and rice
I hiked through the burn area with dead trees scattered everywhere. It was clear that a big fire had come through here years ago, but I couldn't fully appreciate the scale of the devastation until I flew high above the few trees that still remained. The Pole Creek Fire had destroyed 26,000 acres of forest, leaving a vast scar behind. I had seen a few areas like this before, but it never gets easy. This one was caused by lightning on September 8th in 2012. The fire sent hazardous smoke to the small community of sisters, and three backpackers narrowly escaped by walking or running 16 miles to safety and leaving their gear behind. But nature always finds a way. New trees are already growing in the burn area and some majestic older trees still stand strong. These fires are a natural part of the ecosystem and they help to clear out dead and diseased trees, making way for new growth. Let's all do our part to prevent future fires so that nature can continue to heal itself. I got up at 5 o'clock this morning to catch the sunrise, uh, to catch the glow on the mountains. The Alpen glow it was so beautiful and it was really worth getting up so early. And uh, I just finished breakfast, put up my tent but I don't want to leave because the view is so beautiful. <laughs> the last time I saw a nice view like this uh, kind of in the mountains in this time of year was back in the Adirondacks actually. I did a three-day backpacking trip up on a ridge and it was really epic with a thunderstorm, with black flies and just amazing views. <laughs> so I'll link it uh, in the description below and also uh, at the end of the video so you can check it out. It's definitely a nice follow-up after this adventure here. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will join me again on my next adventure. They're always coming every few weeks or so. I'll have to get out with my tent and camp somewhere. But uh, also check out my tip videos. They're really cool. Uh, they're mainly for beginners and intermediate backpackers. But I think even some advanced people like some of you can still get some good information out of these videos. So check those out. I have a playlist on my channel uh, for backpacking tips. So take care my friends and I will see you on my next adventure or in my next tip or gear review video.